The Earth will have a close encounter in just a few minutes with a massive asteroid nicknamed The Rock. It's the largest asteroid to approach us since 2004. NASA first learned about it three years ago, and the scientists say it will pass Earth by just over a million miles. The rock will not have any effect on our planet, but it does highlight the dangers of nearby objects. CBS News science and futurist contributor, that's Michio Kaku, who's a physics professor at the City University of New York, and joins us once again at the table. I know when you're here, it's good news. As evidence, when I said in the green room, how worried should we be? What does this mean? You go, well, we're sitting ducks. I went, okay. Yes. <laughs> That's a good way to start the morning. Right. We're like deer <laughs> caught in the headlights. Yes. Uh, this is a whopper of an asteroid. It's almost a mile across. That's a lot of real estate. And if it were to land in your backyard, it would really ruin your day. But how likely is that? Well, we need an insurance policy. You know, every 10 years, a whopper of an asteroid comes barreling right close to the Earth, missing us by a whisker, mm -hmm. and we are blissfully unaware of this. But, but, now, they don't hit us uh, un unless you have to wait a few centuries or a few millennia, so we're lulled to sleep. But I think we need an insurance policy because one day it could really have our name on it. What's an insurance policy? Well, first we need a telescope up there that specifically identifies all these near-Earth asteroids, of which we've identified 14,000. And there could be a million of them down to the sides of a football field. So first is a satellite that can take pictures of these things, and second, we have no Bruce Willis to come to the rescue. No. There's no shuttle. He There's lives no on the Upper West Side, though. <laughs> <laughs> he does? Yeah. Sometimes. We're walking around, yeah. We need to modify the SLS booster rocket on Orion module so that we can intercept one of these things because we can't depend upon Hollywood to come to the rescue every time one of these no things... No matter where he lives. <laughs> yeah, no matter where he lives. And remember, these things are nation busters. They could take out England if it were to hit. That's that's the power of one of these asteroids. 10,000 Hiroshima bombs is the power packed by this piece of real estate a mile across. Just one number. When you say close, how many miles are we talking about? We're talking about four times the distance between the Earth to the moon. But in 10 years' time or so, in 2029, another asteroid will come by that'll go right through our atmosphere. Ooh. Think about that. It'll go beneath our satellites. That's how close the Apophis asteroid will come in 2029. And again, we're, we're basically helpless. And what do you want people to do with this information? You say we're helpless, we're sitting ducks. <laughs> what do you want us to do? When we go, go to get Congress, a telescope. Yeah, go get, get a, a telescope. telescope. Yeah. First, you can get a telescope and on the Internet. You can actually watch it tonight on the Internet. Second of all, Congress gives us the giggle factor every time <laughs> we go to Congress. we got to convince Congress to fund projects where we can deflect asteroids like this. So I'll be calling you at 9 well, to see no. if you're watching or, um, the asteroid. I'm going to go over to his house and see. <laughs> I was thinking of hold my hand. Oh, Professor, what are you doing to prepare yes. for the end of the world? <laughs> That's right. Thank, Thank you. you.